We need to make sure we're using our reserves in the North Sea and incentivizing companies to do that. We need to make sure we're fracking in parts of the country where there is local support for that taking place. One thing I absolutely don't support is a windfall tax. I think it's a labor idea. It's all about bashing business, and it sends the wrong message to international investors and to the public. But then what do the public think about energy giants making three billion pounds in profits, while, by the way, they're already three billion pounds in debt to them? Well, first of all, I don't think profit is a dirty word. And the fact it's become a dirty word in our society is a massive problem. You were a Liberal Democrat Remainer. You're now a Brexiteer. Are you just someone who blows in the direction of the political wind? How can people here trust in what you're saying? Isn't it just politically expedient to suddenly back leave? Well, I, I left the Liberal Democrats when I was 20, Camilla. And I think we all, you know, we all make mistakes as teenagers that we might regret. Some people drink too much. Some people take drugs. Uh, other people do other dangerous things. I joined the Liberal Democrats. Yeah. Let's talk about your fellow Brexiteer, Boris Johnson, um, to conclude before we go to audience questions. Um, this Privilege Committee investigation, the goalposts have changed a bit. It was going to find out whether he had deliberately misled Parliament. Now it's just going to find out if he misled. Do you support that or do you think he should be recused of this investigation now? So uh, all I would say is that the MPs on the committee are the ones that make decisions, and I fully support What's your them. Opinion on it. Well, it's a parliamentary. Actually, I haven't followed every twist and turn of it to be well, honest. I've, I've been busy being an out and about. Uh, it, it's a parliamentary process, not a government process. There's a difference between them, and I fully respect the MPs that are on the committee to make the right decisions. I personally believe very strongly in high standards. One of the things I would do almost immediately as Prime Minister is reinstate an independent advisor for ministerial interests, because everyone needs to know that trust, integrity and decency belong at the heart of politics and I will lead from the front. Have you uh, spoken to Mr Johnson since you resigned? I, you know, I have, I, I've messaged and called but unsurprisingly he hasn't returned my course. Strange. So. <laughs> um, right, let's go to audience.